Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you the preset feature for the No Man's Sky base builder plugin for Blender. This is a feature I've been working on over the past week after the initial release uh, of this tool. Um, in a nutshell, what a preset does is allow you to uh, select multiple objects within No Man's Sky and define them as a single object and I'm going to show you how to, to do that in this video. Um, so in the game I've just built this very simple base of a terminal and just two little wooden planks just to kind of indicate where the floor is. Um, so what we're going to do is bring this base into Blender, uh, define a preset and we can see how we can leverage that uh, when building bases. So let's close the game. And straight away I have Blender open and I've loaded the plugin on the left here. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is uh, go to No Man's Sky Save Editor and find the base that I've just made. Um, so if we go to Player State Data, go to Persistent Player Bases, uh, I know it's at number 10, and this is a very small base and we've called it Test Base. So if we press Control A and we copy that, and then we press import, uh, we can see uh, a representation of what the base looked like in the game. So we have the terminal here, and we have those two wooden planks there. Um, so that's fine, we know that's working, but um, what do we want to do when we make a preset? So we can press new, this will clear the scene, and let's just kind of um, Think of, I don't know, let's just do like a small example to begin with, because I've already done a few preset, presets already that we'll leverage. So let's just make a, a sort of a helix shape kind of thing. So uh, we can find the, uh, under adornments, we can go to the curved, curved pipe shape. So that's just a little right angle thing here. Uh, let's make a few of those. Um, Let's do that, and let's rotate this round. This might not be perfect, so I'll just keep it quick for now. Uh, actually, yeah, let's just do like a sort of donut shape kind of thing. Uh, one of the good things about Blender is that um, you can actually have this properties panel here and if, as long as you click on this box then you have some attributes to kind of fine-tune things. So we can set this to 90 degrees exactly and go through each one make sure that they're perfect. 180 Let's move that there um, and then let's do a sort of chain kind of effect. Let's put that there. Uh, I've got a perfect amount here. Okay. Okay, again, not perfect. I'll just do this for demonstration. Um, and let's. Uh, can I do this? Nope. down, let's just bring it back to the sort of central place. Okay, cool. So, let's say we've created a few objects and we want to call this something, let's define this as a preset. So what we can do is press this button here called save as preset, that will give you a sort of dialogue. And let's call this, uh, I don't know, chain start, press OK. And I'll add it into the presets option. So the presets will always be shown at the top of this um, build list. And you'll notice that we have an edit and an X button for delete. Uh, this allows us to basically go back and make changes if we want to. So we don't have to always stick with what we've made initially. 
we can go back and edit and just to demonstrate that I can press new again so that's cleared the scene uh, and I can press edit here edit preset and we're back to normal um, so let's uh, do new and see what that actually looks like when we build uh, the preset so if we click here what it does is it colors it orange and we can't actually select this um, but it gives you a controller it gives you this circle and if you select the circle this will allow you to manipulate this hole as an object and we can rotate that round and we can rotate, um, spin it however way we want uh, just like any other build part except for we have this sort of control to manipulate uh, now just to give you an, an example of the things I've made um, and we'll we'll build this into the into our base so let's copy this again let's import NMS so this is the base that we're going to work with it's got all the details imported for us here um, so straight away I'm going to build um, I basically defined as a preset a house um, again it's quite simple it's just a few cubes and some frames and let's position that uh, roughly where those planks of wood were just to kind of give us a bit of bearing actually let's bring this back to our local um, and let's build another house on the other side so straight away you can kind of see how sort of powerful this could actually be um, if you define a few presets then you could actually start building all sorts of things like cities or or other sort of large structures uh, what I've also done is build a lamppost um, so just to kind of show you what this is this is a curved pipe um, a large paving object a cylinder and a few of the small wall pieces rotated in a sort of arch and then I put a few lights on the underside here and I've got another sort of red light there uh, so let's move this into position let's kind of make a little roadway um, do another lamppost Again, I'm not going to be perfect here. I'll just show you roughly. There, let's do another one. Now, when you do this, there might be a bit of back and forth process because this doesn't actually visualize the the ground. So you might end up seeing things floating in the air if you're not exactly perfect with your placements. I think I've noticed it's a little wonky as well. Let's just move that to slightly. Okay, so that's that's fine. Um, and let's put our chain objects that we made earlier in the middle somewhere. Oops. Okay, and let's just delete those two things that we made in the game okay so I think that will do for now as demonstration um, one of the other things that I've done with this update is this button here which is the toggle room visibility this basically makes certain objects transparent um, so that you can actually start building stuff inside rooms um, without having to like kind of hide things within blender you can just use this button to either make them transparent, invisible, or back to normal. So um, at this point you might want to save um, your progress and it's worth um, it's worth sort of keeping in mind that if you export this to No Man's Sky it will sort of bake the preset information into base part information um, which is only a one-way thing because No Man's Sky obviously doesn't understand this idea of a preset so I've made my own saving mechanism within this tool. So if you click save, and let's call it uh, test base blender, 
as I did before. Um, so that saved it. Um, if we press new, clear it, um, we can load that in by using the load button and just clicking that. And we have our what we saved as our progress. Now just to demonstrate this kind of one-way thing, if we export um, the data to No Man's Sky, that's going to bake the preset into base objects. So if we click that, it's going to go into our clipboard. Um, so we can paste this into our No Man's Sky save editor. And we can save that, save changes. But also just to demonstrate that in Blender, if we go to import, you'll see all of the presets go back to um, base parts and we can kind of move this however way we want. Um, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, it's worth kind of, if you're using presets, to save it and load it based on um, the No Man's Sky saving, uh, the Blender saving, rather than using the export and import. So now that we've got it into No Man's Sky Save Editor, we can load up the game again and see our updates. And there we have it. So as you can see, well, the spaceship's kind of clipped in there, which is a bit of a bug, but um, yeah, we've got our little helix object we've made and our sort of lamppost items dotted around and our house objects. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Um, it'll be cool to see what creative things people can do with this if they get their hands on it. Um, now one more thing just to demonstrate um, the way that this preset can work is that let's say we've we've saved our sort of scene as um, a Blender fi um, a data file and just to demonstrate the kind of reusability. So we've saved it, so that's fine, we can rebuild it later. But let's go and edit a lamppost um, again. So this is what the lamppost looks like, but let's say we wanted to add an additional item. So if we wanted to have uh, like another, I don't know, another curved pipe somewhere, we can duplicate it, we can move it around, and we can add whatever thing we want, really. Um, there's quite a lot of freedom to this. Um, and then we can basically save this preset again. So if we do save preset and we call it the same thing, so lamp post A, that's going to overwrite the preset that we uh, had before. So if we click edit again, then you can see that it's the same thing. Now if we go and load our base again, the changes that you've made in those presets are going to reflect in all of the presets that you've made within the game, so uh, within this scene, so you can sort of iterative, you can iteratively develop uh, presets uh, without having to like redo it over and over and over again, which I think is pretty cool. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I might have another update for you soon.